And we are live, ladies and gentlemen. What is up? All right. Let me get my chat situated here. Yeah, let me do that as well. I had it on the <clears throat> scheduled stream. Oh, there we go. We are live. And it loaded up out of nowhere. I was going to mess with it, and then it loaded up out of nowhere. Okay. All righty. Scheduled stream. Oh. Yeah. 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 Out of nowhere. Thing for you. And we are <laughs> How's it All going, right. everybody? I'm very sorry I missed last week's stream, and I'm incredibly sorry for missing Val's stream on Sunday. That that hurt a lot having to cancel on her, but there was nothing I could do. I had no internet. Yeah, that happens. I was pissed though, because they were trying to. Because the type of internet that we use is what's called wireless internet. It's not quite satellite internet, but it's kind of like satellite internet. And they use these weird ass relays that they have to bounce the internet from. Uh -huh. And we're like, we're like literally. There's only two people on this relay that we're connected to. We're one of the only people on it. And they basically said they don't want to pay the people to go out there and fix the relay since there's only two people there. They were like, you're gonna have to wait a few days. I'm like, that's bullshit. Sorry yeah. for my language, but I was like, that's that's BS. Okay, so hello, Mo, if you're still here. Uh, Rubber Ducky Crazy, hello, Honey Lulu, hello. Yes, hey, Mo. Uh, Joyner Jones, if you're still here, hey, Honey Lulu, Rubber Ducky Crazy, Trish, how's it going? Yes, we missed you as well, Honey Lulu. Definitely. We missed everybody. Missed everybody. I know you guys missed this face. <laughs> is it any cooler over there? Today is actually a little bit cooler. It's like in the late, like in the upper nineties. It's not quite a hundred degrees today, so it is cooler. Yeah, it's gotten down in the low nineties here, which has been nice. It's actually eighty four right now, so I'm digging that. Yeah. I'm 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 guessing it's probably like ninety seven here right now, probably. Which is yeah. a lot better than what it's been. So I'll take 97 any day over the 100 and something degree temperatures. No doubt, right? Yeah. No doubt. So, yeah, things have been kind of hectic uh, between uh, well, the vacation. The vacation, by the way. Yeah, it was it was it was very nice, man. I got uh, I got eight videos up on my channel. Um, some people have viewed them. And uh, one of them was a fail. It was a night flight, but I threw it out there anyhow because everybody wanted to see it in the family. So, but uh, yeah, man, ocean flying and drones. Oh, it's 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 what the best. You for yeah. your main recording rig, were you using your bugs? Yeah, yeah, I was using the camera on the bugs, and uh, I got some great footage. I mean, it's you, there's still a little jello in it, but uh, you know, for the price point, I'm perfectly happy with the footage that I got. So. I didn't think that thing could take that nice of footage, honestly. That was quite surprising. We're actually going through and picking out some still shots from the footage I got, and uh, we're going to go to uh, – I'm going to put them on an SD card and go to, like, a film photo center and actually have some pictures made up for the house. So that, That's actually pretty nice. Yeah. yeah. Roger, Wayne, what's going on? Wayne, Roger, hello. Welcome to the stream. Oh, that fly is back to haunt me. It has <laughs> came back. That fly says, game on, you're streaming. <laughs> yeah, the fly is like, oh, welcome back, brother. Welcome back. <laughs> yep. Buzz the back tower. Off, fly. <laughs> <laughs> I got to move this lamp so there's no, like, shade part in my face because it, it was, like, cranked right here, so it looked like there was, like, a weird spot on my face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my lighting isn't too good in here. I've actually got the light on in the room here, so usually I have the blinds open right here. but. <laughs> Up top, I have just one of those old crappy, like uh, cheap energy efficient bulbs. They suck. It takes like two to three minutes just to kind of get to the full brightness. Gotcha. Gotcha. So, right. as if you guys hear any background noise, that's my family watching movies in the other room. Uh, yeah, 505. Everybody's home from work and all that, huh? So any notifications system is working right now. There, there's like notifications have not been working at all. 
I'm showing six on the phone, so we got six viewers so far. Yeah, that's what it's showing for me on the other one as well. <clears throat> so, uh, catching up, what new toys do you have, Alvin? Uh, hold on. I only have one new toy. I unboxed this last week on my show with Chris. Or not last week, the show before that. I mean, I should say. This is the little... It's like a Cheerson CX-10 copy, basically. It's like, it looks like a CX-10 or whatever they're called. It's uh, it's called the World's Smallest Drone by Aero Drone. Nice. Hey, Chris, drone life. This thing, I, I love the fact that, that I got it because it's like a novelty thing, but I'm just going to say right now, I hate how this thing flies. <laughs> This thing flies so horrible. Like, it, there's, like, prop guards and landing gear you can put on it. That just makes it even worse. It it flies truly horrible. With this controller is the reason why, though. I think it's this transmitter. If I could get this binded up to, like, a jumper or some other, like, aftermarket transmitter, it'd probably fly a lot better. But this transmitter, I hate this thing. Or I shouldn't say hate. I don't like it, I should say. Hate, like hate is a strong word. I don't hate. like it. Hate, hate's a pretty rough word there, buddy. <laughs> yeah, hate's too strong of a word to use on it. I just don't like it. It doesn't fly that way. Like I can tell you right now, I hate, I hate this. This little propelled drone. These garbage. I like the color of that, the chrome, the chrome on it. Axiomatic, Baduga, Raj, John. How's it going? Welcome back, Mo. Yeah, welcome back, Mo. And I will talk to Val about that, definitely. Thanks for giving me the heads up. Yeah. Yeah, this thing, I mean, it's cool because it has, like, its little compartment on there. And there's actually two ways to charge it. It comes with, like, a little USB plug. And there's a plug on the back of the remote. So you can charge it from the remote as well. Which the prop guards actually sit back there as well. These little prop guards that just go around it. These, these are guard. really cool to have on there because when you put these on there and you go crash at all, which you will with this thing because... Okay, here's my major, con like, not concern, but gripe with this thing is that you can fly it all nice and fine, but when you try to pull it back, like, I will fly in here with no wind or anything, no fan or anything. When you try to pull it back, for some reason, it does not want to go back. It, it just it just wants to keep going forwards no matter what. So every time you try to correct it, it just wants to try and fly off. It's a good flyer for the most part. Like, you can try to keep it hovering in one spot, but that's about it. You think there's an issue with the uh, stick? I'm thinking that's what it is. I'm, that's honestly what I'm thinking is it's probably an issue with the transmitter. But or it's, gimbal. It's, it's, a, it's a cool little novelty drum to have. I really love the fact that I did win it because it's pretty sweet to have in the collection no matter what. I can always just have it off to the side and be like, yeah, you guys want to see what's – it's on the box it's labeled as the world's smallest drone. And I use my fingers as quotation because that's what it's called. World's smallest. I doubt it is the world's smallest. I think there is smaller ones now. It might have been back in like 2016. But I doubt everybody, it now. Everybody like Sharper Image advertises uh, as the world's smallest drone. They all, they all do with those little nano drones. Yeah. Hey, Tom. What's going on, buddy? Hey, Thomas. Welcome to stream. And I'm if Alvin's talking, I'll show you your last name. Name. Even though I'm pretty sure I know how to pronounce your last name, I'm not going to be like Eric on RC Crazy Show. I'm not going to mess up your last name because I'm pretty sure it's just Gerdes, but I'm just I'm not going to try and mess with it. <laughs> but you already tried. You already stepped. You already made. You already got one foot in there. <laughs> because I'm pretty sure that's what it is. The H is silent. <laughs> Anyways, I'm sorry I was I cut you off a little bit there. No, don't worry about it. Hello, JGRC. Yeah, JGRC, what's going on, brother? I gotta keep looking down at the chat, so I'm not falling asleep. Just reminding everybody, <laughs> I need to get a better situation for this screen so that it's closer to like the camera, so I can look at the screen and the camera better. 
<laughs> Swing and a miss. Yeah, Thomas, I'm I'm kind of chilling too. I'm supposed to be packing. So because we're we're starting to move on the 24th here, and we've got a lot of crap to move. Thomas, I messed up. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool, though. You guys are going to be moving in there soon. That's going to be a little crazy, though. Yeah, it's um, we're, we're going to live through construction, um, but it is what it is. I'm trying to figure out which area in the house I'm going to set up, like, you know, my little hobby area. I also want to get a nice banner to put on the wall behind me. It's a Senate Earl RC show. You were uh, talking about in the garage. That sounds cool. Yeah, either the garage or there's a shed out back. Um, it's pretty also decent. Really cool. 20 by 16. It's got a little workbench in the back. I might set something out there because it's got electric in it. So I could kind of get out of the house and get away, but I don't know how well that's going to work with the that's kids. That's a pretty so. size shed, 20, 20 by 16 or whatever? Yeah, yeah. And if I could have, you know, I, I only need like maybe a seven foot by seven foot spot. For my table and all my stuff so you'll have a lot more extra room you have so much room for yeah activities. yeah <laughs> no, i will so i'm looking forward to that but we'll we'll see though we've got a lot of work ahead of us we've got all the drywall in and everything's being taped and sanded and finished and then um i've got to move the garage out to a storage facility so i've, I've got some work ahead of me that's why i'm kind of busy and I will be missing the stream, not next week's stream, but the the stream the following week, the last week in August, basically, because I'll be in the middle of moving, and I won't have internet anyhow. Yeah, that's <clears throat> not a good thing to have to deal with moving and stuff like that. I've had to move so many times in my life. It's never fun. And having to be in, like, the position of being at the house where you're in, like, mid-construction, that's the worst. Yeah. Yeah, moving moving sucks. It, it it definitely does, and I I hate doing it. And fortunately enough, my kids are to the age now where they can actually help instead of getting in the way. So I'm I'm kind of hoping that helps out this That's time. What kids are always good for man. They're extra helping hands to help you move stuff. <laughs> Ray, well, how's it going, brother? That's a delayed response. What's going on? Camro drone. What's going on? Hello, Camro drone. And Thomas, yeah, yeah I have, I have a, my, my, my last name is as German as it can, as it can get. It's Mueller, M-U-E-L-L-E-R, Mueller. Oh, Gertis. It's, it's Gertis. Instead, instead of Gerdes, it's Gerdis. I get it. I got you, Tom. I got you. That's why Can't I'm just calling you Tom. I don't even call you Thomas. I don't even like trying to say Thomas. I can mess that up. So I say, so I say Tom. <laughs> it, it's when he starts calling you Thomas is when you have to have an issue. It's, it's when I start calling you Tomas. Thomas. <laughs> I say Thomas. Hey, what up, Thomas? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're welcome, Camero Drone. You're welcome. We sub everybody. I try to sub as many people as I can, especially yeah. if I see them in the uh, drone network affiliated streams, Val streams. Try to support everybody that we can. Mo, and I caught, all I the caught thumbs so up much, for people that are thumbs up. Mo, I caught so much crap in school, grade school, junior high, high school. I mean, hell, yeah. my best friend Think still calls that. me. I didn't even think about that, that your name rhymed with Bueller. Yeah. Mueller. <laughs> Mueller. <laughs> Here's an interesting fact right here. The 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 movie Ferris Bueller, um, one of the extras in there where Ferris Ferris is running through the house away from his parent or his mom and his sister. When he was running through the house, um, there was a woman in there that was making some salad or cooking in the kitchen. That extra was one of my substitute teachers in high school. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. She's in That's the cool. Droner Jones. Welcome back, brother. Jason. Droner Jones. So how you liking that uh that other little whoop that you got? Uh the Santa Claus one? This yes. little guy? Yes. I'm actually really liking it. Um I don't really like it with the Santa Claus on it, but 
I mean, it flies decent even with the Santa Claus on it. Don't get me wrong. But it flies really good. It's completely different, I, w- I will say, because I'm a lot more used to the Airhogs one, which is extremely easy to fly. This is this is by far, like, one of the easiest little micro whoops you can fly. Um, this thing is really nice. And uh, it's got a lot more power, that's for sure. It's got a lot more speed. And uh, I definitely can't wait to put a little FPV camera on there, which I do have right here. I have it sitting off to the side. My little LFPV camera. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Is it power switchable? Uh, no, this is only 25 um, megawatts or milliwatts. Yeah, that's all right. I mean, you're not really going to f- fly that far away anyhow. Can you? No. Go- I almost just lost this little thing, this little uh, connected piece that almost fell out. No, it's seven. So, Jack, I said hi. He probably just wants to say hello. He can, you can come in. Close the door, though. <laughs> if you come in and say something bad, Thor is going to strike his hammer down on you. Oh, wow. Look at the Thor. Hang on. The little tiny Thor. And and guess what? If you step out of line even more, this little buddy Vision is going to come and help. And then if you help even more, little Nick Fury is going to come. <laughs> <laughs> You got them all, huh? Little Samuel Jackson's gonna come get you. <laughs> yeah. Do you have a Captain America? I'll be jealous. No, I, I want the Captain America and I want the Iron Man and the the Hulk. Those are the ones that I couldn't get. Those are like these were like grab bag things that you get. It's a mystery thing, basically, kind of like a Kinder Egg, but in a bag. You basically open it up and it's like random what you're gonna get. <laughs> That's cool, uh, Drone Life. You have a niece that was in uh, Baywatch and a couple other movies. That's pretty cool. Very Heck yeah. Cool. Very cool. Thank you, Mo, for the support. And yes, big drop and like if you guys can. Yes, please. That helps us gauge what we're doing here. Yeah, yeah exactly, Tom. Not little Sam. You better watch out, man. His little, his little eye thing is going to come after you. you. Better watch out, boy. I'm going to go Pulp Fiction on you. <laughs> English. Never mind. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> yeah, I didn't I didn't want to do it either. I was going to I was gonna pull a Pulp Fiction line too, but I didn't want to do it. None of his yeah. lines are really kid-friendly. <laughs> hey, this is the family dog. I got rid of my big dogs a couple years ago, but we're, we're after, shortly after we move, sure. I'm going to be getting uh, – we're getting a puppy. I think we're leaning towards a German Shepherd. That puppy is going to be bigger than that dog. Well, I did. That's why we have to get a puppy. He'll be okay. But our other Yorkie, forget it. He's he's kind of a he's kind of an a hole. <laughs> Baduga with the nice cat thing. All right, I'm going to get my cat out here. Come here. Come oh. here. Oh. Come here. That's a come dog. Here. Wow. <laughs> Easy. Come here. Come here. Oh, now come he's going to mind. Excuse me for one second. I got to let him out of the room. Oh. Here. Here's my Gizzy. He was sleeping underneath the table or the desk, I should say. He's my little sweetie. I was yeah, gonna say that's, that's not a cat. He's giving kisses. That looks like a dog. This is a dog. You said you were going to get your cat. I know, because Paduga called your dog a cat. <laughs> I'm playing dumb. I'm playing dumb. You're supposed to roll with me on that one. I'm too dumb to play with it. See, that's the problem. <laughs> right, you're good. You're good. Uh oh. <laughs> Make out time, Axiomatic RC. I'm, I wasn't doing anything. He was giving me kisses, man. He shows his affection. <laughs> yeah, I don't like dogs looking me in the face. I, I don't. Mm. I keep telling my well, kids, you know what? You know what, what kind of bacteria? Ugh. Dogs' mouth is actually a lot cleaner than you think. Mm. Even though they lick their privates and stuff, trust me, dogs' mouths are a lot cleaner than you think. I wasn't. I wasn't going there, but yeah. 
<laughs> Trust me, I know where you were getting it. <laughs> I got you on that one. <laughs> okay, Roger. Bring me some coffee, would you? My eyes are... Yeah, Roger, bad. bring me back some Tim Hortons. I got bags underneath my eyes, man. <clears throat> no, uh, I don't want that Yorkie drama. If you can keep it, let your neighbor keep his dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got two, two Yorkies. That's enough. Ankle biters. Yeah, he's a Chihuahua Shisu mix or Shih Tzu, whatever the heck you want to call it. Yeah. Yeah, I was trying to. Um, the main reason why we're getting a bigger dog is, that I, as we've talked before on stream, I think about the snake problem down here. And yeah. uh, my wife wants to get a dog that's more or less going to deter the snakes from coming in the yard, or if it sees one, kill it. Although you yeah. can't really attack a certain breed for that. I mean, it's all on the individual dog and what its instincts are. But Very uh, true. we're leaning towards something big because my wife hates snakes. Um, I'm not afraid of snakes. Wild should. snakes are annoying. Hello, Josh. How's it going? What's up, Josh? Withrow. Um, axiomatic. The fires out here are, at least where I'm at, they're starting to get more and more contained, and the skies are finally starting to clear up a bit. It's still smoke everywhere, basically, but they're finally starting to clear up. The other fire that's somewhat close to me, it's about like two hours away. I guess it's the biggest fire in California history. It's the Mendocino uh, fires that are going on. We have the car fire up north. That's the one close to me. And then we have the other fire that's kind of down to the southwest. And that's uh, burned over a quarter million acres already. That's uh, been labeled as the biggest fire in California history. So, it, I mean, they're going contained and they're still spreading in other areas. So, I mean, it's it's good and not good, I should say. Hey, when you say car fire, can you uh, explain that a little bit? The car is the town. It's not. It's not a. It's not a car like an actual car. Car. That it's C A R R. So that's why they call it the car fire. It's named after that, that because that's where it started at as Car California. It, it's very confusing. I will admit, hearing the car fire, you're like, wait, there's a car fire. Is there whose car is started by a car on fire or something? No, it's actually I guess got started by some some POS that tossed a cigarette outside. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. You gotta love that. They don't play down here, man. You litter down here, they will pull your ass over and write you a five hundred dollar fine. Oh, they they caught the guy, and he's gonna get he's gonna get so much stuff thrown on him because he got people killed. There's so many buildings. There's so much damage that has happened just because of that one stupid act. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. It's ignorance, is what it is. Oh yeah, severe ignorance. Not caring about what you're doing, for sure. Yes, they will curse our and non Hmm. Oh, oh, that sucks. The fire took out your favorite restaurant. Damn. That sucks. <clears throat> Drone life, Chris. Yes, I have I have read online that Jack Russell's are the dog to get to um, get a snake. I, I have read that, so it's an interesting point. We're, we're in the um, searching stages right now. I don't know which way we're going to go, but I know we're not doing anything right away because, uh, you know, with the construction and that, so... Well, I have other dogs too, Honey Lulu. Most of my other dogs in our house are big. Uh, Gizmo, the one that you just seen, that's the only small dog we have. We have uh, five other dogs. They're all big pit bulls, basically. <laughs> pit bull mixes. And, uh, yeah, it's just, I have him. He's just my little buddy. That's why he's here. He's like my personal little hound dog, whatever you want to call him, my little partner in crime. Does he go after your drones? No, he's actually afraid of them and hides underneath the desk like a little baby. Uh, the one I just had on my lap, he sees that drone, he wants to get it. 
Uh, my brother's dog, his dog Bo, he he always wants to go after the drone. He's always like, like he doesn't want to bite after it right away. He kind of just chases it back and forth, and then kind of wants to nip at it he doesn't actually go to fully nip at it he just like halfway nips at it and he knows it's going to come after him so it's like oh god he like yeah. gets scared halfway into it and he like breaks down <laughs> he's like oh god uh helicopter what's up brother justin now that i know your real name i know a lot of people don't like to use that name <laughs> because it's affiliated with somebody that's not so good but we're going to bring back that name and make helicopter and justin a good name <laughs> uh, I'm sure there's plenty of people that are dicks named Jim. I mean, it is what it is. Let's see. To be honest, I was just hanging out with a dick named Jim the other day, and he's my uncle. So <laughs> <laughs> all Jims are dicks. <laughs> so yeah, my uncle Jim or Jimmy, as we like to call him. We don't call him Jim. We call him Jimmy. But yeah, he's a dick. <laughs> Every family has them. Yeah. I've sure got quite a few in my family. Someone I don't I haven't even associated with. Yeah, uh Baduga Lewis. I can't feed him after midnight and I can't get him wet. He's he's a mogwai, he's a gizmo. <laughs> he's and, a uh, gremlin. <laughs> well that's what that's what Baduga's saying. So he's a gizmo, huh? Not a cat. Yeah. He, they're not called gizmos, they're called mogwai. And, uh, yeah, he's one of them. And if you get him wet, he's going to turn into these little green goblins. So try not to get him wet. And try not to feed him after midnight. Uh, Beaver, laugh out loud. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's, a, that's like a Voldemort... It was Justin Bieber, the name who shall not, shall not be named, or whatever the person who shall not be named, <laughs> Justin Bieber. <laughs> yeah, that guy. Mm. My kids don't uh, don't listen to his music, so I don't have to go through that whole spiel. The only time I've ever listened to his music is when I was watching that episode of the Cleveland Show. I don't know if you've ever seen it, but Cleveland basically gets addicted to Justin Bieber for an episode. And start singing that weird uh, baby song or whatever. He's like, baby, baby, baby. <laughs> and it's Cleveland the whole time, just like, and he dresses up with like a, a wig and everything. He goes like full on like white guy mode. <laughs> Gosh. But yeah, none of my family was ever into Justin Bieber. And I'm glad about that. <laughs> I'm yeah. just looking at what I got on the table behind yeah, me. What? I'm just looking at on the table what I've got behind me and figuring out what I'm going to pack next. Yeah, that's going to be one heck of a thing to do. I have to put all your RCs up and move them over there. Yeah, except I'm going to box them up and put them in my truck, and they're going to go from this room to the truck directly into the new house because I'm not – every time we move, something of mine gets lost. I'm not yeah. – time no that, that's happened with me a lot and we've actually lost a lot of our like precious <laughs> items over the years because yeah. basically every single time that happens something gets lost yeah yeah like Moving. how we were talking about earlier with my niece is like in power rangers uh i actually had a picture with a power ranger i took i've met a couple power rangers in the past and i had taken a picture of them when i was like 13 years old doing some weird karate pose with the blue ranger <laughs> and uh, during one of the moves, we lost that picture. And my niece, to this day, every single time, because my, my sister has told her about that picture, my niece always asks, where's that picture? I'd love to see a picture of you and the Blue Ranger. I'm like, it's gone. It's gone forever. <laughs> it doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> so there we go. We'll make a helicopter blue. Yes, helicopter uh helicopter since you're in 7-eleven pick me up a uh what is that a big slush or uh what do they call that i don't even know what they're what they're called anymore slurpee no not the slurpee i mean yeah slurpee yes but what's their sizes it's called like a big something big gulp 
That's what it is. Big gulp, not slush. I don't know why I said slush, because of slushy. <laughs> RC Basher Boy, I missed you. I had to scroll up there. Hello. Hey, you got a freezer or you got an air conditioner, put it in front of your air conditioner in your car. <laughs> you only live about an hour and a half away. Just drive up here real fast. By the end of the show, you'll get here. You'll give me the slushy. <laughs> <laughs> and then I can drink it at the very end, and then that'll be good. <laughs> no problem, RC Basher boy. Have a good one. No problem, Basher. I'm glad you came in to show your support, brother. Thank you very much. You have a great rest of your night. Where's Brother Frank at? Yeah, I'm not sure. He What's might be busy. He might be working. He's on vacation, though. I saw something on Facebook. He might be out of town. Yeah, he might be. Uh, John or Jones, you are correct. Big goal, yes. Yeah, vacation, yeah, that's what they're saying. Yeah. I figured. Yeah, he posted something on Facebook over the weekend, so. Memories yeah, of great in my Facebook. old age. I need to get back on Facebook. I haven't been on there in a few days. I need to get on there. Yeah, the uh, the MJX group is growing like wildfire. No pun intended, uh, Alvin. Man, while you were on vacation, did you see that they had the bug threes for sixty something bucks? Uh that would have been a hell of a deal. I wish I had the money. I actually went to try it. I like I was going to spend somebody else's. I was going to borrow some money from somebody else, and I was going to buy one. But when I went to go buy it, it, it was actually out of stock. Elvin, I'm oh. telling you, if you got an opportunity to get this Force 1 or the Bugs 3, do it, man, because it's like a gateway quad, I'm telling you. Well, that's what I, that's what I was really hoping to try and get it at that price because, man, a Bugs 3, it's, it was like 63 bucks. Man, that would have been awesome. Yeah. would have been heck of And then I already have the, the Force 1 camera to go on it because they already have the little camera mount on the Bugs 3. They have like the little holder. This is the Force One that I got from John or Jones, by the way, which I still need to. I need to get a mount for it so I can actually use it, or some foam. I got it all charged up and everything. Will find me. Yeah, it's the same one. It's a good camera. Force One. Ah, oh, camera reception. Ah. <laughs> um, I'll send you a link. But I think these mounts are like three bucks for this. Oh, actually. Um, drone knife. I, I don't think they're available anymore. That's not the mount that I was talking about. The mount that I'm talking about is just like the um, the action camera mount, so I can put a, uh, either this tripod right here, or oh, uh, okay, or something like a hat, so I can like adjust a bit, adjust it on a hat. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, this one actually clips to the bottom of the ghost slide. Yeah. This. If I had the ghost or the bug three, I would definitely use that. But I don't know if I could. I mean, I could super or not super glue, but I could hot glue that onto a transmitter probably. Yeah. Um. I don't know. I haven't looked in for mounts for like hat cams and whatnot. I haven't gotten that far yet. Yeah, helicopter. Uh, this is the uh, Force One action camera that I got from Joner Jones. I've yet to be able to use it yet, but I'm, I'm looking forward to using it. It works very well for a cheap camera. I got to say the image quality is pretty, uh, pretty decent. I just need to get a memory card. I mean, I have a memory card, but it's only like a four gigabyte one, which I mean, it, it'll probably work for a small video, but I want to get something like a 16 to 32 at least for it. That and I want to get a class 10 card because the one I have is like a class one. I don't even know what classes is, honestly. Oh, not bad. You're pretty much in our stream is uh, keeping up very well tonight. The JJRC 130, the camo looking mini quad. No, I have not seen that one. Hi, girl. 
Do you still want your pink drone? Hang on. She's paying attention over here. Hey, uh, hey, Alvin asked you a question about your pink drone. What? You still looking for a pink drone? Yeah. Uh, I, yeah. But I no. want it, but I can't buy one right now. Oh, I'm sure we can find one for you. Okay. Yeah. Hi, one. My, but my niece wants a pink drone too. So she she's just like you, honey. She wants a pink drone just like you. Yeah. We'll have to find one just like this one. This one's red. We'll have to find you one kind of like this one. No, why not a pink one? Like no, my no. no. I know, not, not no. red, but I'll get you a pink one. But, hey, uh, is daddy little? But he wants to be this many. Oh. We just started the last three weeks. We just started getting very vocal. Hey, uh, you That's cool, though. And you want to be this many right near. <laughs> yeah, when you get your pink drone, it'll come with a controller somewhat like this, but probably pink or white. Look, I got pink up. <laughs> I, want I know. I, I know you want pink. <laughs> so she wants pink. Ow, ow, ow. Daddy. I, I, I think you wanted purple, wasn't it? I thought it was purple, not pink. <laughs> All right. I'm she's, so cute. Okay. she's like my youngest. She, she's so like into like everything, basically. Yeah. Yeah. She really is. Yeah. I just have. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, axiomatic. I did not know that. I will definitely check the mail tomorrow. I was going to check it today, what? but I, I, I didn't know I had a package waiting for me. So now I'm kind of intrigued, actually. Yeah, um, this is a really nice looking drone. Like I was saying, helicopter, it, it's a really nice looking drone. It, it's more of a novelty drone. I, I'll, I'll have to say that. Um, I'll take it out of the little cover. It's a sweet little drone. It's called the Aero Drone. It's called the Aero Drone. Um, it, it doesn't fly that well. That's the only thing. It, it, it flies decent, but it, it has some issues. Where, uh, it just doesn't want to. It doesn't want to come back. Like when you try to use the transmitter, you can drive it. Not drive it. I was going to say you can drive it, but you can fly it around. It'll be fine, but once you start going forward too much and you try to bring it backwards, it won't want to come back. It'll like come back for like maybe a second and then it'll stop and then it'll want to take off. So there's a little bit of issue board on the inside or with the drone itself, but it's a great novelty drone. I like it. it it's freaking awesome. Um, what's my best drone? My best drone is my HK, uh, what do you go, HKX300. I'll grab it. I'll be right back. Hold on. I have to go grab it. I got to move my camera so I can actually be able to. Here, I'll, I'll pull mine out. Go ahead, Alvin. <laughs> Hang on, helicopter. Bear with me here. Hang on, baby. I'm taking the drones out. All right, helicopter. This is the uh, MJX Bugs B2W. Got Wi Fi, FPV, GPS. You can see at the top there. And uh, this was the first drone that wasn't a drone like this. This little Sky RC thing. This is the first drone that I started messing with and filming and everything else. And then I got this guy here. Go ahead, Alvin, if you want to show him. Uh, sure. This is my best drone. I haven't even flown it, but I already know it's my best drone just because of the sheer cost of it. But this is the XK X300. 
or the I think it's HK X three hundred. Hold on. No, it's XK. Yeah, it's XK X three hundred. It's a pretty nice seven twenty p camera drone. It's got uh, it's got a two cell battery that comes with it. It's it's a lot better than this right here. This is my Sima X five C. This one's a lot better. A little bit of lag over there. Yeah, that, that might be on my part because my internet still hasn't fully repaired. I love this uh, XK thing. XK thing. I don't know why I called it that. XK X300. Because this transmitter is freaking huge. Like, this, is, this is a gigantic transmitter. And uh, I'm definitely looking forward to being able to actually fly it now that the smoke and everything is finally clearing up. I could charge this up in the next day or two and finally be able to take it out for its first flight. I haven't been able to fly it at all because of all the smoke and stuff in the air. It's just way too hot. But it's finally starting to get better, so I'm looking forward to actually being able to fly it. But as far as the ones that I've flown so far, I actually I actually like this one so far the most out of the ones that I've actually flown so far. This one is really nice. Take off the Santa. Don't worry about the Santa. Santa don't, don't worry about Santa. Yeah. This is basically the Ishin E011 clone, the E011 clone, the JJRC H67. Which, hold on a second, I need to check my battery that is charging. And helicopter, here's that Force One out of the box. I don't have the props on it because I took it down to Florida with me, but it's the same size as the red one I just shown. This one doesn't have any GPS or altitude hold. This is strictly. Virgin. Oh man, I love that that you got the black one too. That black one is so nice. Well, this one here, I can change out the canopies. Yeah, doesn't it come with three of them? Yeah. That's, yeah. See, that's what I do like over the actual bugs three is that that comes with three different colored canopies. But the only thing that kind of sucks about it is it's just the top part. The rest is still all black. Yeah. Here's the other option you got. Which is different. I don't know how I feel about it quite yet. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not into the baby blue. Yeah. And then, uh, see what's nice about this is you can get to all the insides if you want to unplug this LED here. It's this lead here, and then when you get your camera, you plug it right into that port right there. Yeah. And then you got. This is probably my favorite. I like it. I love the white. Yeah, the white and the black are my two favorite for sure. Yeah. The only thing that sucks is they didn't include a red one. If they would have included a red one to kind of match your bugs too, would have been sick. Here's the deal. Um, you can actually fit the MJX skins on there too. Oh, man, that's it. And that um, Draca, Dra I can't pronounce it right. Draca, something, they made yeah. a dark blue one. Yeah, it was all blue. That thing is sick looking. I know exactly which one you're talking about. Yeah, I want to get that canopy for this, actually. Yeah, that's a lot better blue. I know exactly which one you're talking about. Yeah, and a nice thing about this, uh, I don't have chat pulled up, so I can't see if helicopters still. But these just snap right on real easy, and they stay on. See, it's on now. I need to get a brushless drone. The, both of those are brushless, both the bugs and that fourth yeah. um, one. They have 1,800 kV motors. Yeah, I need to get me a brushless drone. But I'm really looking forward to this little guy, why I said this is my favorite so far. I've only flying it, fl flying it. I've only flown it, I should say. I can't even talk at all. I've only flown it a few times now because I finally got my AAA batteries. I was waiting so long to get AAA batteries for it, and I finally got the batteries for it. And it flies great. I love this thing, and I can't wait to put this little – FPV camera like I was showing you guys earlier and then I have my uh, receiver right here hold on this is my 5.8 OTG receiver that it's going to go into my phone which will go into my uh, VR headset to turn them into goggles since I don't actually have any real goggles and then the other thing I wanted to mention um, when you buy this ghost it comes with that action cam I was messing with, and you get two batteries with it, an extra set of props, all those skins, and the remote. The remote's in my car, but my truck. But yeah, you get you get a bunch of stuff with this thing. 
Yeah. Those things are really nice. I, I'm definitely wanting to get either an actual Bugs 3 or the Force 1. I'm, I'm kind of leaning more towards the Force 1 just because what you just showed, because it got, does come with all that stuff. And right. it, it'd be kind of nice because I already do have the Force 1 camera, so it'd be nice to have that to go with it. But it, it comes with it anyway, so it's not like I would need it. Ang Power actually makes some um, 3,000 milliamp batteries that'll slide right in for the Bugs 3 slash Ghost. So That's I mean, cool. you gotta kind of think about it. If you want to put the money out to get this kit or this this one that comes with all this stuff, or just buy the bare bones Bugs 3 and then go out yeah. to eBay and buy those batteries for 20 bucks a piece. I almost just plug that in and I thought that the music plays right away. <laughs> Because I just loaded that battery in there and I almost just plugged it in. You guys would have started hearing Santa Claus. <laughs> oh, and uh, I can't remember who was telling us. I think it was Birdman Mike that was telling us. It does have two songs, in fact. I waited and listened to it. it there is two songs. Can I see this, baby? My dog hey. over here playing with bugs. Come on, brother. Yeah, I love that red one. That red one is really nice. Don, how's it going? Yeah, I'm sorry I've been gone. I'm glad to be back, though. Glamour Girls Guide, hello. Hang on, I got to put this back in the box. Yeah, let me put some of these back as well. But yeah, I'm... I almost just snapped that propeller off. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to flying this thing so much. I, I can't thank Brian at uh, True Reviews. You guys know Brian. He's such an awesome dude for sending me this. Like, I am excited as heck to fly this thing. And it's got the Wi-Fi FPV camera. So what's really cool is you can actually buy the little module because these cameras come out as a little module. You just push forward and it comes out. It has a little antenna and everything for the Wi-Fi FPV. You can actually put a, a 5.8 FPV module because they sell a different model of these with the 5.8 camera. And uh, I'm definitely looking forward to flying this even in Wi-Fi FPV. That'll be pretty nice. I definitely want to get some green props for this, though, some green tri-props. That would be really nice. Yeah, that'll look uh, that'll look pretty sweet on there with the white. Oh yeah, it's got a pretty nice little scheme on there with the little gray on the sides where my hand is kind of blocking it, and then it has the black through the middle. It's got a pretty nice little scheme to it. Definitely, definitely looking forward to flying that thing. Um, but yeah, like I was saying about the controller, how massive it is. Let me grab my Sima controller again. I've showed this before. I've done this comparison before, but I always like doing it just because it's such a huge controller. This is the Sima X5C controller, which is, I mean, it's a fairly decent sized controller, mostly about the typical controller. But man, this XKX300 controller is like its giant older brother, which is like two to three times its size. It makes it look like a little dwarf. It's so I much huger. <laughs> the thing is massive, dude. It's straight up huge. <laughs> it you got big hands though, right? So that'll, how's it yeah, feel in your I hand? Really big hands. So it actually helps out quite a bit having it this size because it feels a lot more comfortable. I mean, the Sima controller isn't too small where it feels a little un uncomfortable. These controllers feel uncomfortable. Like this one for the air hubs, these things are super tiny. And you want to see a size comparison between that and this. Look at that. Jeez. <laughs> That's like literally just one side of it. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to trying that. Wow. Wow. Um, slide down. They're, they're definitely starting to get more contained. They're they're still going pretty crazy. There's another fire that's off to the southwest of me. It's called the Mendocino Fire going on right now. And it's actually been labeled as the largest fire in California history. It's gotten to over a quarter of a million acres burned already. So that's pretty crazy. 
but the fire up north, uh, it's called the Car Fire. It's not. It's not. It's not an actual car fire. It's uh, it, the town is named Car, so that's why they call it the Car Fire. But a lot of people just refer to it as the Reading Fire. Um, they're finally getting that more and more contained. So we're, we're getting some progress, but it's still going to be quite a bit of ways. The smoke is starting to clear up a little bit, so that's starting to help out. That's why I'm looking forward to flying that X300 drone. It's finally cleared up enough so I can at least want to take it outside. I was kind of scared to want to take it outside for the longest time because of so much smoke, but I feel it's cleared up enough to be able to take it out at least, or at least I'm hoping it is. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat was really scratchy. Birdman, what's going on, brother? I was actually just talking about you because uh, you were telling me about the, what was it? Dang it, now I forgot. What was I just, I was just talking about Birdman just a minute ago. Now I already forgot. Yeah, I'm distracted over here. I totally forgot what I was saying earlier. Totally forgot. <laughs> it, that was a total brain fart, and now I'm just like, what? <laughs> ruh, ruh, Raggy. <laughs> Darn it. I'm, I'm trying to remember what he said, and it was something that I agreed with him on. Damn it. I'll remember in a second. It, it, it'll, it'll come back to me. <laughs> it'll come back to me. Sorry, guys, my kiddos, my two youngest are in the room here. I keep muting the microphone. That's all right. No problem. Who all knows full melt metal heli on here? I, I do not, Birdman. Definitely going to do that. Uh, it's my definitely going to. It's, uh, it's okay. it's, uh, Stream fell way behind again. On your tablet or? No, on the TV. We were buffering uh, probably about five minutes ago. I was keeping an eye on it. Uh, Remember I told you we're not going to make that mistake we made the first week. That's yeah, true. that's true. Yeah, exactly. That. Darn it. I totally, like I had... What, I can't even remember. I wish I could like go back in the stream and look at what I was talking about because I said something earlier and I can't even remember what it was. It was something. <clears throat> Ooh, he passed away. 46. That's scary. Oh, damn. Wow. Sorry. Bradley, Silvertop Flyer. What's going on, brother? Silvertop. Yeah, that's horrible. I'm very yeah. sorry to hear about that. Yeah, you never like to hear about uh, – I don't like to hear about death period, but that's just me. Yeah, I'm, I'm – well, as you guys know, my whole last week was about death, basically. So it, it, it's been something that's been pretty recent on my mind as well. So I feel for you, uh, Birdman. I definitely feel for you. Let's catch up here. I'm just reading the chat. Yeah, I'm trying to get myself caught up as well. Sly Dad says, Hello, my butt is still puckered. Ha, 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 ha. Okay, what a mess. Oh, the Phantom. Okay. I know what he's talking about. I got you. Guys, if you've ever live streamed, it is uh, really hard to hold a conversation and keep up with the chat. It's a lot harder than it looks. I'm just telling you now. A lot harder. Extremely hard. Extremely yeah. hard. But we're, we're doing it. Yeah, you're, I agree with you 100%, honey, Lulu. Life is short and fragile. you got to live each day like it's your last. I agree with that. Fragili, is that is that Italian? Fragili, kind of like your tomato. Fragili, is that Italian? <laughs> Every time I see fragile, I think of uh, a Christmas story. It's always going to be in my head. 
And that's what the dad says that on the box it says fragile, but it says fragile. He's like, what is that Italian? <laughs> yeah, say it like fragile. <laughs> fragile. <laughs> fragile. I need a pizza pie. <laughs> ah, the up air one. Hey, Jack, somebody just mentioned the up air one. I mean, honey, Lulu, you can curse in your streams. It just all depends on who you want to watch your streams. You can curse all you want in your streams. The only reason why we don't curse is because just in case, you know, kids do end up watching the streams, like Jack and stuff. So, I mean, you can you can do your own stream and curse all you want. You can say the F word, anything you want. It's just, it's all depending on the audience that you're trying to get. Yeah, I try. I'm used to censoring myself because I have four kids, so pretty easy for me. Yeah. Oh man, I didn't even get a chance to tell you. I told Eric because RC Crazy has he told me what happened with him. Uh, he flew his new little blade inductress uh, mini whoop, and he flew it into Tiff's hair and got it stuck in her hair. I, oh. I swear he jinxed me because less than an hour afterwards, I was flying this around yesterday. Less than an hour after he said that story, I flew this thing right into my head like this. And it got all caught up in my hair right in the front of my head. <laughs> pics or it didn't happen. <laughs> yeah. I actually would never take pics of stuff like that. I'm not one of those type of people that don't like I don't like taking pics of stuff like that. I actually had to like rip out chunks of hair because it was like all knotted up because of it. It was pretty funny. Yeah. One of those had to be there moments. Oh yeah. Well what's funny is like basically I was the only person in my room when it happened. So I, I was the only yeah. person that got to see it. Save the embarrassment. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's true. No but, nobody else had to feel it. I'm willing to bet when you did that, you'd looked around the room and go, I am the only one in here, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I looked towards the door. My door's right over there, so I looked, I looked towards the door to make sure that nobody was over here looking at me. I do apologize about the noise in the background, guys. Yeah, if you guys up here and noise in my, my background as well, I apologize for that. That's my family in the living room watching a movie. Oh, no, mine's my kids. Yeah, but noise is noise. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Oh, you broke your pink hanger, huh? Hitting your brother. Hitting your brother. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, now I remember what I was saying. To when when I was thinking of Birdman, um, Mike. I finally got the AAA batteries and was flying this thing. This thing is such a little beast. I, I love this thing, and I cannot wait to. Uh, put this on there and I'm glad you told me about where to uh, solder it and everything because he gave me like a couple pictures to solder it in certain areas so I'm definitely looking forward to that did you get goggles no I'm just going to be using where are my goggles I got so many boxes stacked right here and a bunch of crap just fell <laughs> Yeah, there goes my prescriptions on the ground. Whatever. <laughs> uh, yeah, this thing. My VR headset. Now, is that camera, is that a 5.8 FPV? Oh, you put your cell phone into this, and that's why I have this uh, 5.8 OTG receiver that you plug into your phone. So you plug this into your phone. Oh, I see. I've, I've heard of those. I missed that earlier on the stream. Yeah, your phone goes into here. And, uh, and it's a 5.8 goggle setup, basically, for the most part. I mean, it's, it, it's not a perfect 5.8 goggle setup, but it's it's basically a, a great budget goggle setup. Yeah, um, I'm not using an actual canopy. I'm just using a little camera mount that uh, MD95 TSI Chris is making me. It's, it's, a, it's just a little tiny mount that goes on to here. Uh, you basically take off this little canopy that's on there, the little Lego canopy that just pops right off, and you screw the other canopy on there. 
for the uh, OTG camera, not the OTG, but the FPV camera. I just need to make the little first video of this. That's the only th reason why I haven't started converting it into FPV or anything is because I still need to do the little first video, first flight with it. I want to fly it with the little Santa Claus guy on there. That, there's a spider web right there. Um, once I fly that, um, I'll give this to my missus because I don't need this little Santa. <sighs> I want to put an FPV camera on this one as well, but I don't. I don't know if the motors are strong enough. I need six millimeter motors, so I'm not sure if they're going to be strong enough to. Plus, there's not really too many good areas to put the camera on here because the power switch and the charging port is right there. It's all right, Slide Dad. Thank you very much for stopping in, brother. Uh, thank you. No, but dude, but that's what I have to do. I have to take out the speaker as well um, when I convert it for FPV. I have to wait till I do the first flight because I want to have like the full on experience with the little speaker and everything. Oh, that's another thing we worked about, Birdman, is that's also what I was trying to remember is you were correct on there's multiple songs on the Santa Claus drum. There is two, just like you were saying. So I know it plays Jingle Bells. What's the second song? Uh, we wish you a Merry Christmas. Oh boy! Yeah, actually, I I actually rather prefer that we wish you a Merry Christmas one over the Jingle Bells one. <laughs> no, no. <Yeah. laughs> Axiomatic, you are completely correct. The guy, like the face that that guy is looking, he does look like he dropped some serious stuff, and he's just like, oh. Oh, man, this is awesome. Ah. They, should have, they should have totally put Keanu Reeves on the box. Whoa, dude. Yeah, they should have had like a little like uh, comic little box come off his mouth. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Oh, that would have been nice. That would have been really cool. Yeah, Bill and Ted. Yeah, speaking of Bill and Ted, um, I'll actually show you guys something. I have a video that I already made. I have not uploaded it yet, but it is for my not for it's not RC related. I'm just grabbing an RC out of the way. Uh, I got my very first, if I can even grab this with one hand without moving the camera too much. I got my very first loop crate. For those of you that don't know what Loot Crate is, I don't know if that's even on their property or properly, I can't even talk. Um, Loot Crate is basically a monthly subscription box that you can get that has a bunch of geek, pop culture, movie stuff. You you get like a, a t-shirt, uh, other like movie memorabilia, like uh, Funko Pop toys, all sorts of other random stuff. But um, I actually got... This is a sneak peek at the video that I already did the unboxing video. It came with two t-shirts for this month, Ant-Man and the Wasp, because each month is a, it's like a themed month. So I got two t-shirts with it, which is really cool. We usually only get one. So I got two t-shirts with it. And uh, hold on. the reason why I brought the loot crate up is this. I got this one. It's Bill and Ted's most excellent picture frame. There's actually a picture frame in here. This is just like a little container, but there's a picture frame in here from Bill and Ted. So that's pretty darn sweet. I figured I would bring this up because you guys mentioned uh, Bill and Ted. No, it's not a subscription to bootleg videos. It's uh, a... <laughs> it, it's a subscription for a like a monthly box. You get a every month. You get different stuff. So, I got this sweet little uh, thing. And a lot of the what's cool about Loot Crate is basically like I'd say like seventy five to ninety percent of their stuff is exclusive to Loot Crate. So like this Bill and Ted thing, 
you probably can't buy that anywhere else. It's probably only available for the crew. I hang on to that. Don't open that ever. Yeah, I'm probably not going to, honestly. And there's some other cool things like uh, they gave me some uh, fridge magnets, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle fridge magnets. Nice. Yeah, those are actually really cool. I'm actually really looking forward to these. <laughs> and uh, some other stuff too, like this really, really cool Adventure Time pin. For those that like the show Adventure Time with uh, Jake and Finn from uh, Adult Swim. And uh, there's like a comic in there as well, I think. Something like that. No, not a comic, but something else. I'll have to, I'll have to get it out in a second. But yeah, I figured I would show you guys the Loot Crate stuff because I already did the unboxing video. It's just not uploaded. So you guys just got a little sneak peek at what the upcoming video is. These things are really cool, though. I'm definitely looking forward to getting more of these. I actually have a free one coming somewhat soon within the next couple of weeks because because of the July uh, deal that they had. You buy one and you get one free. So I got a free one coming. I'm looking forward to that. But yeah, I'm 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 a big nerd. That's why I was showing you guys like these little things earlier when I was talking about Jack. Like I, I love these like little figurines and stuff like that. I'm huge into comic books and all sorts of stuff like that. And that Bill and Ted thing is so awesome because Bill and Ted, that's like one of my and my brother's favorite movies. Both the Bill and Ted. I actually love the second Bill and Ted more than the first one, which a lot of people don't like the second one that much. Wow. I I love the second one. No, don't get me wrong. The first one is great where they go throughout time and get all the like like Socrates and all them and Plato and all that. It, it's a great movie. But for some reason, that second one is just so freaking awesome where they have to like play death and all those stupid things that they have to do. It's just yeah. so freaking funny. And they have those robot versions of themselves. It's, it's retarded, yes, but it's really funny retarded. Did you, did you hear that they're actually thinking about a reboot for part three? It's not. It's not even a reboot. It's a straight continuation. They're adults, and they're gonna have their two kids. Oh boy! Yeah, it's a continuation. It's not even a reboot. Keanu Reeves and the main guy are back for it. I heard that the guy who played uh, Ted was working. He works at a Home Depot. Yeah, he he stopped acting, but he's coming back for this this new one. Nice. They so have, get his fifteen yeah. minutes of fame and get some little bit of money, and yeah. Alvin, I'm going to let you have the floor for a second, though, because i got to take care of a kid problem over here. No problem. I'm going to go back and chat and get caught up in chat. Yeah. Apparently, my daughter is biting my son, so I'll be back. That's That's got to be fun. Your daughter is biting your son. Um, yeah, they, play, they played it in board games. Yeah, exactly, Axiomatic. You have sunk my battleship. And I love the actor that they got to play Death. I can't remember the actor's name, but he's been in so many other movies, and he's a great actor. Wait. Damn, Mike, did that just happen? You just now uh, melted your X5 SC board? That's crazy. Holy crap. What I miss now? Uh, Mike said that he melted his X5 SC board by trying to bypass the power switch and hook something wrong. Ooh. Wow. That's... Wow. Yeah, honey, Lulu, I'm a little hesitant, too, on the storyline with them having kids and all that, but it's supposed to be, like, 30 years in the future and all that stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm starting to hope that it will be fine because the writer of it is the writer of the first two movies that brought back the original writer. So I'm, I'm giving it some hope. Hmm. Oh, happened on Sunday. Damn, that sucked. So you ordered the uh, older X5C? That's uh, At least it's compatible and you can use it, so that's cool. Huh. <clears throat> Interesting. But yeah, we went... Uh, 
Uh, we want to open topic tonight because I know Alvin was having problems with his internet, and I've just been uh, all of my spare time has been at the house, so I didn't really have time to prepare for a topic. I don't know, but uh, Alvin, you and I will work on that this weekend. Yeah, open topic is fine for when we need to, but it's nice to have a topic to actually talk about and put yeah. us through the show. You know, actually allow us to go through the show. Yeah, it is. It is. I agree. I agree. Now, these kids are rambunctious over here. I think I'm gonna have to get my my little one in bed early here. Yeah. Is she? Uh... <clears throat> okay. Now she just hit my son with this. <laughs> She's like, "Oh yeah, you want to fight? I'll bring a doll to you." Yeah. Hey, you took you took Ava and hit Jack. You tell the truth. Jack, you're antagonizing her. I see you swinging over there. He is. That's exactly what's going on here. <laughs> you're bringing on the pain is what you're doing. You're just making your sister want to beat you up. <laughs> and trust me, even though she's younger, she can beat you up. <laughs> she's got that baby strength. Come on, what's she going to do? This? Uh, this is like, uh, what is it, Celebrity Death Night? Let's have a good, clean fight. Come on, let's go. <laughs> no, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop. No, I'm not. There shall be no eye jabs and no below the belt punches. Let's keep this clean. Come on. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. Fun stuff. Okay. Fun. Kids are awesome. That's all I'm going to say. And it's awesome that I don't have any. They are. They are. <laughs> just work and packing and everything else. And, you know, I just, ugh. Yeah. My fuse is really, really, really short, but I'm trying to. Uh... Did you just turn off the fan? Ooh, I got a fan short knot over here. They're like, he doesn't need any air. <laughs> no, they weren't touching it. It was like stopping and going. It was weird. <clears throat> yeah, the X5P is a great starter, uh, Birdman. I love this thing right here. This, this, is, this is an awesome, awesome bird. And it's funny because like I, I lost two of the uh, LED light covers already. And I haven't replaced them. I know they're super cheap to replace. I just haven't got them replaced yet. Didn't that drone scare you, though, about a month ago? Yeah, it, 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 was, it was my first flyaway. It took off into the fields. And with the help of my uh, older niece, Caitlin, she helped me get it back. Because without her, I probably wouldn't have been able to get it back, honestly. Yes, <clears throat> Mike, Alvin, Alvin is on Facebook. Um, look him up as Earl RC. Yes, I'm on Facebook, and Jim is on Facebook as well. Yeah, he's got me on Facebook. Actually, um, Mike, if you look on my profile, you should be able to see Earl RC on there as a friend. I think he was talking about Honey Lulu because I think me and him are already Oh, man, there. yeah. <laughs> Axiomatic says his daughter's singing Moana at the top of her lungs right now. Yep. Yep. Hey, the Moana is a lot better than them singing Frozen a few years back. They were all singing that Let It Go song. All the like young kids were singing that Let It Go, Let uh, It Go. <laughs> it's funny. Go to YouTube and look up Frog Leap Studios and then search uh, um, Let It Go. Uh, Leo at Frog Leap Studios yes. is one of my favorite freaking channels to watch, dude. I watch so much of Leo. I can't even pronounce his last name. It's like Mor Morcioli or something Mor like that. Yes, Morcioli. Uh, Here you go, he, Al. His uh, Toto Africa cover is my favorite song. Like, I love that cover so much. Can you see this? Uh, you can't with the glare. But I've got everything he's done to date on my phone. <laughs> like all the albums. I wonder if you can put that in some sort of zip folder and let me download it. <laughs> hmm. We'll talk off air. 
<laughs> yeah. That's not on stream talk. <laughs> no. Hey, Chris. MD, the I would not surprise you. Hey, yeah. Chris. What is up, brother? Yeah. Exactly. Let it go. Hey, hey, okay. That's cool. I'm just going to do this because I do not want to mispronounce your name. His name is Amadia Nassim. Okay. I'm pretty sure I, I'm pretty sure I nailed it that time. I think I nailed it. <laughs> well, we'll see. We'll see. But yes, hello and welcome to the stream. I've got uh, a lot of stuff going on in the background over here, so put the hanger so she can't get it. Yeah. We're just sitting here doing an open chit chat night. We ain't got any real like specific topic or topics to talk about. So we're just sitting here chatting about whatever. So Yeah, and I'm I'm just I'm just dead beat tired, man. I haven't been sleeping well and I've got so much going on trying to get my family into this house. It's it's just unreal. Yeah. I can't get anything done. That's how I feel, you know. Honda Gamer, what's going on? Thank you. I seen that, Mike. I need to check it out again. I, I didn't get a chance to fully check it out. I seen the video last night. Axiomatic, to answer your question, um, what kind of drone are you flying? And how close to the uh, airport are you trying to get to do the local well, flying? The thing is, you got to remember, no fly, anything within five miles of an airport, airport is a no-fly zone. Unless you contact the airport and go through all that crap. and But it's honestly, it's not worth it. Isn't there a website where you can search up like all your... Uh, Flight areas that are no flight know. zones and whatnot. I don't know it, but I know some of the people here may know it. Um, if you also make sure to turn the volume up, Mike. Okay, I will. When I live, when I watch the video, I will. Um, hey, Crystal. FAA.gov. There it is. Thank you, Chris. Thank you very much. The general rule of thumb is don't fly over four hundred foot. And don't fly within five miles of an airport and don't fly around people that aren't with you. Like I'll have my kids with me and I'll fly near them. That's because they, I've told them, you know, when something, if I tell you, get out of the way, blah, blah, blah. But don't, yeah, don't fly near people. Don't fly over people's property. Just things like that. As long as you abide by the, that stuff, you'll be fine. That's a pretty sweet drone, the Mavic Pro Platinum. Oh, that's pretty nice. Yeah. But Axiomatic has a lot of really sweet RCs. <laughs> Axiomatic is the man because uh, without him, I would not have this awesome, awesome new 2.4 gigahertz transmitter for the Stampede and all those really sweet uh, extra receivers that he sent me. So, yeah, our Axiomatic is the man. It just reminded me, I'm packing up, getting ready to move. I got to get rid of my brother in law's truck. I'm actually uh, take it out and show you, Alvin, because I haven't showed you anybody this yet. Oh, nice. Maybe your brother in law won't miss it if it goes disappearing. <laughs> I'm actually trying to fix it for him. <laughs> but he's got to buy the, buy the right stuff for me to fix it. Uh, Silvertop, am I okay? Yeah, I'm perfectly fine. I'm just sweating over here. It's very, very hot. But yeah, I am perfectly fine, brother. There you go. You ready, Alvin? And everybody? Yeah. A boom. Oh, Team Associated, SC10. Nice. Yep. Very nice. We moved the laptop down a little bit. He uh, he bought it. He had a nickel metal, nickel metal uh, battery for it. Ran it on the stock setup, and when he put a 2S LiPo in there, first time he pulled the trigger, it shredded the spur. 
Oh yeah, friggin' just fried the whole spur right off, probably. So I found a uh, a metal spur for it. It's a direct replacement. I told him I was like, "Look, don't don't buy the four dollar cheap spur gear to put it back on because you're just gonna shred it again." I said, "Buy the metal one and I'll put it on there for you." Well, that kind of fell on deaf ears because I've had this thing sitting here for four months now underneath my desk. Yeah. But it's an animal, dude. I, I love short course trucks. You are cool, Crystal. I'm just glistening. I'm not sweating. I'm glistening. And uh, Bradley, <laughs> I I would never have somebody buy me an air conditioner. That would be way too much. I, I could never do that. <laughs> Even if you had like plenty of extra money to spend, I, I could never accept something like that. Uh, that's too much. Here you guys go. Right you now. Got your your transmission and everything off. Yeah, it's just right back here. See? Nice. So here's what it looks like. It's a pretty stout little vehicle. This is only a two-wheel drive version now. Wally, what's going on, brother? And John, what's going on, brother, as well? Hello, hello. Um, I don't know if it was too loose. I think it was just the too much power from that lipo just made it. Oh yeah. In that, Here. And that spin was probably not that strong, so it just shredded. Here, here's what happens with a two S lipo on a stock uh, spur. Let me <laughs> see it. Oh yeah. It looks like it kind of got over hot too. So it might. I mean, it could have been too close. I don't know. He ran. I mean, he ran the thing for almost a year. On a stock nickel metal. Yeah, the lipo probably gave it just way too much power. Yeah, I mean it took it took teeth clean off here. <laughs> yeah, it definitely took a lot of teeth off of there. Um, thank you, uh, uh, John RC Fun. I'm glad to be back, brother. Big clunky That's ass video. Roller, yeah, I like that. Yeah, so hopefully I'll get that going for him at some point. The dude said that happened to him on his first pack on the Thunder. I believe it. I yeah. mean, I tell you, I don't understand why people put plastic spur gears in anything now, especially with uh, brushless and lipo power and all that other stuff. Well, there is some uh, plastics out there that can handle it, but most plastics aren't really meant for brushless, and having that lipo power is almost like going brushless. Right. It's like putting a 454 Chevy under the hood of a Chevette. What do you think it's going to happen when you stab the throttle? You go break some stuff. Uh, that sounds like a good time to me, actually. Is there a Starbucks close by? John, I live out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> there, there's no Starbucks anywhere near me. He's out in North Rural California. I'm literally in the back roads of Northern California where there's nothing but orchards and farms. And cows you that can like to on your property. Yeah, and cows that like to destroy all the dirt, yeah. Um, if you can find me a Starbucks that's within 30 miles. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> Let me pull chat back up here. Love my drones. Hello. You guys want to know what's crazy is I still have the plastic uh, spur slash slipper gear, whatever you want to call it, because it's a both. I still have my original one that's in mine for 20 something years and it's handling the brushless power just like nothing. Yeah, I've got that's what I've got on the RC10T that's in the garage somewhere. One of these days I'll I'll pull that out on stream. Old, old school plastics were really strong. On certain vehicles, those old school like spur gears and stuff, they were super freaking durable. Hang on, I think I got a fan burning up over here. I'll be right back. You need to make some. I. What are you talking about, Don? <sighs> False alarm.
We don't have we don't have fiber optic or anything like that. We have one option for internet. But that was stealing crappy internet. Yeah, I don't think he's in an area where he can get actual broadband. No, I can't get any. So I can't get AT and T like DSL. I can't get any of that stuff out here. See, I'm lucky because where I'm at, I can get I can get um, broadband. But if I go probably a mile and a half away, it's all there's nothing out there. Satellite internet is your only option. I'm somewhat near Tracy, California. Yeah, I'm not incredibly close, but I'm within, I'd say, about an hour or so. Yeah. All right. But yeah, John, don't worry. I have vids coming up. I have uh, my Loot Crate unboxing video that I already recorded that I need to get uploaded. And then I have a, a I was going to do these as multiple thank you videos, but I just recorded a bunch of clips and I'm going to edit them into one large thank you video for all the other stuff that I've already done, like the unboxings on live, but I want to do like a proper video thanking everybody that sent me those things and then put links in the description for those people's channels like I did with Axiomatic. I want to do like a proper video for like Paduga who sent me this. Uh, OTG receiver. I want to do a, a video, you know, the video for from the drones and send me the Force One camera and all that. So I, I got videos coming up. Don't worry. Almost soon. Now that the smoke is starting to clear up a little bit, John. So don't worry. There's going to be a first flight of this soon. X300 from Brian. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing you fly that. And. There will be a video soon of this as well because I finally got the batteries for the transmitter for the little flying Santa. So there will be a video of that as well soon. Probably going to be the next couple of days. There'll be a couple of videos dropping. So don't worry, John. There will be there will be uh, content coming out on my channel. I came home after um, I came home after the vacation in Dustin. And I put up eight videos. And uh, yeah. I won't be getting any video after we're settled in the house because I just got way too much going on. Chris, there's my loot crate right there. <clears throat> I did a little uh, sneak peek at it earlier where I showed everybody what was kind of in there for the most part. I didn't really show off everything, but I showed off a couple things. <clears throat> Oh, no our problem. We're lagging over. I, I know you'll be able to get to it whenever you can, brother. I, I'm I'm not the type of person that's going to rush somebody to ship me something. Like, I I really am a patient person. The only time I'm not really patient is like, like uh, I'll say that stuff that I shocked my mouth for. Like, I didn't get any contact from that person for a yeah, while. That was-, and, um, that, that was honestly a giant waste of my time. Even though the you know the the person has said that they have all these issues going on, you know they never once contacted me for over a month, you know about these sort of things. So I don't know. Yeah, that was kind of uh, kind of crappy. I'm not going to mention any names, but that was kind of crappy. Yeah, I'm 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 not going to name names or anything like that. But I, I learned my lesson. You know, it's, I have it's seen, whatever. I have not seen but, it. Before, so. but, but thank you to. Uh, Chris and Crystal, they they decided that they were going to make up for it, and Chris is actually going to be sending me a, a, a drone for that instead. So, I mean, I, I was not expecting him to do that at all, and I kind of – I tried to kind of uh, turn them down, but they basically said no is not an option. So <laughs> uh, I'm more than happy to take it. <laughs> Shots fired. Shots fired. The mod father dropped the name. Oh, and Crystal, oh, oh. Crystal yes. That, that, name, is out. name is out. I'm happy you got that Force One. You'll love it. I, I love I love the – I can't decide which one's my favorite yet. But for, for photography, that one, definitely. For messing around, this one. Yeah. 
This is the this is the door to the dark side for me right here. It's opening the door. I just got to get a camera and some goggles. Uh, John RC Fun, just look up and you'll see what Chris named. It. I'm not I'm not gonna say the name out loud, but yeah. No. Good 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 choice, Alvin. I love the way you think, brother. I you know I, I try not to you know spread oh, like man. hate or anything like that. I it's all good and I, I I try to be the bigger man, I guess, is the, if that's what you want to call it. Yeah, but at the same time, if you say you're gonna do something for somebody to do something live or, or in a video, period. I mean you gotta you gotta own up to that. You gotta follow through on your promise. Yeah, and the part that kind of made me uh, a little disappointed about the whole thing is I, I, I hit this person up twice. Once, like, three weeks after it happened, and then he said he had issues, whatever issues, and I said, that's fine. I, I didn't hit him back up. I didn't message him or do anything. I didn't contact him for over two weeks. Again, I contacted him a second time, and I didn't even ask about the drone or anything. I just asked how he was doing with his issues and all that other stuff, and he basically got really short with me. And his reply, and uh, I was just like, you know what, dude, just keep it. I was like, I'm not, I'm not even worried about it anymore. Just go, just keep it. At a certain point, it just becomes a comes to a point where it's not worth it. Yeah, I was just, I was just like, I was, he's like, no, 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 you're gonna get it. I was like, dude, give it to somebody else. Do another giveaway. Give it to somebody else. Yeah. JDS, if I missed you. Uh, JDS, what is going on, brother? Are not blue now. Two two nows in one sentence. That's <laughs> be, be sure to put some bug repellent on there. That's a good one. Yeah. And then you fight to go some bug repellent <laughs> because it's a bug clone. <laughs> yeah. Here, here, let me tell you how that one went. Hit the wall, bounce back, and slap me right in the face. <laughs> it was like, wait, what? What? Yeah. What? Oh. <laughs> Guys, I do apologize if I'm not my normal uh, spunky self, man. I just, ugh, I so much going on, and I'm, I'm not sleeping well. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to be, like, somewhat normal, and trust me, it's, it's actually really hard to be like this right now. It really is, but. Having you guys around is actually helping out quite a bit. Having the people in chat and having you right there, you know, it's keeping me from thinking about all the other shit that's happened this past week. So I'm remember, trying to stay uppity, as you would say. Remember one thing, Alvin, we're all here for you. We're all here for you. <laughs> I'll be all right. <laughs> we're all here for each other. Well, Chris knows I sent him a picture of what I did over the week, and I was knocking out brick by hand off the front of the house to make an opening for a window, and I moved the door down about 10 feet to the center of the house and put the door in, and my hands are killing me right now. Like even... Um, honey Lulu, you got it off? Yes, Honey Lulu, thank you so much for the accent, coming in. All right, Axiomatic, you have a great night. Honey, Lulu, you have a great rest of your night. You guys are both awesome. Yes, definitely. Notice how quiet it is in here, guys. I started reading Chris's thing where he said we're, we're both far from normal, and I was just like, oh. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> What's normal, though? <laughs> Define normal. Hang on. Define yeah. normal. <laughs> What's this normal you're talking about? <laughs> Can I install the VTX and cap? With the lens cap on. It happens. <clears throat> you know, hey, what does everybody think about uh, the Esheen TX-03 as far as the VTX? I do not know anything about those VTXs, <clears throat> or about any VTXs. I'm not. I'm not going to claim like I do. <laughs> I am not the right person to ask about that. Oh, that was, I put the hell turns off the Nexus and stuff. 
Yeah, so which I'm pretty sure he duct taped the kids already there off in the corner, duct taped to the wall with their mouths tight shut. <laughs> What, uh, John, what was with that? Why wouldn't it, was it an optic? No, those things don't have optical sensors, do they? The parrot? Yeah, but which parrot is he talking about? The, the swing or the bebop or the spider? Ah, Lewis said he got a bad one, so he didn't see it working. Oh, let's see. Ah, the Bebop one. Yeah, there was probably, like you said, there was a max distance set and you probably didn't even know about it. That sucks. <clears throat> that really sucks. Okay, Chris. Thank you. Because I'm thinking I might. Uh... The reason why I was asking about that is because I've got my eye on a set of um, goggles with a built in DVR. Yeah, that'd be nice. So I'm not going to buy that uh, C58, whatever it is, for the Bug 6 and the Bugs 8. Because it's probably heavier than the TX03. And I don't want to put a lot of weight on that Ghost. Uh, you can get a pretty good cheap DVR set of goggles for like 45 bucks on GearBest. I'm actually looking at the ones that Chris just uh, traded to Patrick for the Fat Sharks. That's what I'm – I can't remember. Uh, VR, VRD2 Pro or something like that. I can't remember off the top of my head. They're e-sheens, though. E536, 526, Okay. I'm I'm itching to go FPV with the ghost. Yeah, I'm I'm really itching to do FPV with this little guy right here. I just got a <clears throat> damn it, my throat is so scratchy right now. <clears throat> I'm just waiting to do this stupid first flight video so I can take this Santa Claus off. And uh I guess I'm, to... I'm the type of person that will master something before I move on to the next step. Like, I mastered the bugs, and I've gone further than most people have with the white factory Wi-Fi FPV, and I've gotten comfortable enough with it. Then I went to the Ghost, and I started flying that, and now I'm getting bored with it because I'm flying line of sight with it. Yeah. So now I want to FPV it and, and fly it that way and really learn how to fly before, you know, I get my first uh, – whether it's going to be the Wizard or the XJB 145, I'm still in between those. But I don't want to – I want to be brushed up on the FPV so that way when I go, I'm ready to rock. Yeah. That's true. It's a good thing to do. Because I haven't gotten quite like Chris yet where I'm not afraid to break something. I'm afraid to break something because – Oh, I'm afraid to break stuff all the time. That's for darn sure. It's not because I don't want to spend the money on it. It's just because my other half will tell me, um, no, you broke it. Tough shit. <laughs> so, you know. How long before I got bored? Well, no, I'm not. That was a bad choice of words. I'm not bored. I still love flying it. But I, <clears throat> the want and the need to do FPV is, is, is outweighing me flying this thing line of sight. <laughs> Watch it, Jim. No, it's the truth. She, she, she doesn't. Um... It's just how it is. Well, not to mention I've got a house that we're rehabbing, so that that's my money pit right now, and that takes priority. <laughs> hey, Crystal. There isn't too much you can do with this bird back here that's going to break it. Just fly it. Because if it goes out of range, it's going to come back. 
if it starts to get out of range, it'll beep at you. I mean, it's it's it, it, it it's so simple. I literally can hand jack the remote and walk away. Yeah. I mean, and he flies that bird awesome. I let him fly this once because he was bugging the shit out of me. He flew it out in the front yard, right, right, right outside this window here. And once that bird started going over the house, he freaked out. He panicked. But he got it back, and he landed it on his own. He looked straight at me. He goes, I will never ask you to fly this again until I know I'm ready. I said, thank you. And that was three weeks ago. He hasn't asked me since. He's like, I'm not begging to use that thing again. No way. Nope. Because, I mean, it, it's full manual control. The only thing you have on there is stabilize. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Which is what? What mode is that? What mode is that on the uh, on the acro drones, Chris, or anybody? What do they call it? Air mode? No. Yeah. No. Not even air mode. Man, this thing is going to be so crazy to fly this. I have no idea. It's either air mode or. <clears throat> Dang! I can't even talk. My throat. <clears> throat> Okay. My throat is so freaking scratchy right now. Holy crap. Now, I've flown acro, and I'm, I'm straight up enough to say it right now. I'm not ready for acro. I flew acro once, and, it, and, it, and it, there's so much going on there. I imagine once you start doing it on a constant basis, you get used to it. But the, my first time, it scared the crap out of me. And I think it really scared the crap out of me because I was flying somebody else's quad. I think I'd be more comfortable with it, and I'd learn it faster. If it's my bird. Oh, yeah. I flew that little, little baby hawk. Man, that thing was... It, it is one zippy little shit, man. Yeah, those little Emacs baby hawks are fast. It's on a 4S, so, I mean, you hit that throttle, and it's like, now. It's like a rocket. It's gone. John, that'll happen on the day that the New York Giants win the Super Bowl again. How about n never? <laughs> Raiders tat with Giants. I'm probably <laughs> the same day I put a Bears tattoo on my arm here. <laughs> never. I only got this because I was a dumb 16-year-old kid. I, I would never get this nowadays. No matter how much I love the team, I would never get this nowadays. I was dumb and I was 16 years old. You know, back where I come from, that 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 would mean that you're a gangbanger with that tattoo. You know what it stands for, right? If, the if, if Chris was on the streets, he'll he'll know what I'm getting at here. Because uh, it's on my wrist. No, the, if you wore anything Raiders in Chicago, that meant you were banging. Oh. You just stand for what is it? Rabbits are insane. Disciples eat rabbit shit or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Good old days. <clears throat> yep. I can't do that. Sin and all frustrates me. Yeah, but Crystal, I bet you if you uh, really put the time into learning how to fly acro, you'd probably be really good at it. Yeah, just try the sim and... Uh... Low mode, there's the slower mode, which is the, the low mode. And, uh, yeah, it's going to take a little while, but start off in the auto level part. Don't try acro right away. Try the auto level. No, no, I'm not a G. I just uh, I went to school with all of them. I lived very close to Chicago. I was, it was 19 miles from where I was to the city limits. And part of the reason why we left was for the kids, actually. Yeah, I've been through a lot of that gang stuff, and I, I'm over that stuff. I'll tell you that. Yep. I don't know what Chris has it set for, but it pissed me off. <laughs> well, of course. I mean, I can understand it. If if it pissed you off when he – that one did that little uh, thing <laughs> in your comment in that video, which you were apologizing for, I almost fell on the floor when I heard you say it. Um. The good thing about the sim, though, is even though you crash a lot, at least you're not breaking anything, and you can just keep trying again and again and again. Yeah. 
Yeah, Jack has actually gotten really good at that simulator in Acro mode. It's it's starting to get a little bit easier for me to try every so often. I don't use it that often, but when I try it for a little while, I'm getting the hang of it. Yeah. I'm waiting to see Neil really rip his quad. Yeah, me too. I want to see him really go to the dark side. Like, he put up that video three weeks ago of him doing his uh, maiden with it, and I'm like, okay, well, where's the video where you're ripping this thing? Yeah, where's the FPV flight at, man? Eighteen EV eight hundreds. Yeah, I've I've looked at those too. My shirt oh, is so hot. Same it's price. How how hot it is here. My shirt is covered in sweat so much. Wow. So in the winter time, you're gonna freeze your ass off on the stream, or what? No, in the winter time, I could get a little tiny heater that probably won't make any sound. That's the good thing. I can get like a heater for like five bucks and only use it during the stream. I can't really use it like the whole time, but I can use it during the stream. Look, <clears throat> I want to try FPV one day. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This I heard that FPV flying is fun. <clears throat> I'm gonna get into the FPV scene for a bit. Get myself a. I know I definitely want a three inch, but something a little bit bigger, like a two twenty or something, two eighteen. Yeah. And then uh, once once I've got that under my belt, I think I want to go for like something like a solo or a phantom. I want a I want a nice solid photography bird, something I can take yeah. far. That's definitely what I want to get in the future too. That's phantom is my dream. We're going back to Destin next year, actually Miramar Beach, which is right next to Destin. And if I have something like that, I'm taking it way out over the ocean. That would scare the crap out of me, though, honestly. Taking the I stuff the out bugs, over the I ocean. took the bugs over the ocean. I probably took it. It doesn't look that far from the video, but because I was real high up, I mean, I was out there quite a ways. I was probably maybe maybe a football field and a half off the off the off the beach. So I did take yeah. it out. And that thing, if you guys haven't looked and checked my channel, there's eight videos. One or two of them are kind of not so good. But if you look at the last two, I think it's seven and eight. Those are probably my best flights on the whole trip. That's cool. I, yeah, I need to still get caught up on a lot of videos, so I need to check them out for sure. Yeah, I didn't tell you this, Alvin, but one of my videos, I actually put it as a comment in there. I'm sitting there watching it with my daughter. I think it was flight two or flight three. And she, she looks at the bottom of the screen. She goes, there's two big black fish swimming when you're when you're when you come around facing the ocean. Like, no, nah, I look, and I start looking. I start looking, and we look. There's two sharks out there right off the beach. That's cool. I mean, that's not cool, but that's cool that you caught it. You can see them. I'm surprised nobody's commented on them because you could you could see. I mean, they definitely look like they're sharks. Yeah, which I thought was pretty cool. That is pretty cool. But it wasn't pretty cool knowing that I was swimming in that water further out than where they were. But, hey. <laughs> All right, Lewis, you have a great night, brother. You yep, guys get Lewis. some rest when you get home. I know you got to drive home. And uh, Bradley Silvertop, that sounds wonderful. Jambalaya is great. But, honestly, I'm not sure if I can even eat that anymore because I have a couple of conditions. Like, gout is one of them, and uh, a lot of things make the gout – flare up so i'm not quite sure if i can actually have jambalaya anymore yeah i've heard about that that's nothing yeah gout is, gout is no joke I'll, I'll tell you that right now um it, it's no joke at all i have it in three different spots on my right leg i have it in my hip my knee and my ankle and uh whenever actual gout flare up happens worst pain in the freaking world um, especially if you get a really severe gout flare up. Oh my gosh. Somebody said it's like somebody's taking a knife and jabbing you in the leg constantly. It is because basically what gout is, it's acid crystals growing. So when you have a gout flare up, it's a lot of acid crystals growing and rubbing back and forth in your knee or your joint area, wherever it's at. So imagine if you have it in three different spots and you have a lot of those gout crystals growing and you're constantly moving your joints back and forth, 
how bad that it's going to hurt with those crystals like basically grinding against each other. Here, let me pull up chat. MD95 TSI's in here. Say hello. Hi. Oh, gosh. I actually cannot have peanut butter uh, silver top. I can't have peanuts anymore. I love peanuts and peanut butter, but I can't have that anymore, unfortunately. I can have other stuff like hazelnut butter and almond butter and stuff like that, but I just can't have actual peanut butter anymore. There's a lot of foods I can't eat anymore. Nine minutes. Okay. So Jack to come over here and say hi instead of just walking off all the time. No, it's my second oldest is in here. Oh, your daughter. Is she too scared to show her face? <laughs> I know how teenagers work. <laughs> She's only 12, she says. Oh, so you're a preteen. That's even harder to get to show your face. <laughs> 12 going on about 25. Yeah, that's usually what they think. They're 12 going on about 30. <laughs> no, it's, she's definitely not your typical 12-year-old. So... She was probably thinking, I need to get on the internet and I need to look up YouTube and all this other stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you can come, you can come say hi. Wouldn't kill you. Huh? Nah, your hair's a mess, so she won't come say hi. Okay. Oh. Messy hair is nothing. I mess my hair up on the show all the time. <laughs> long, straight red hair. Unlike the other one who has curly. She got the curly gene. Hey, having long, straight red hair is actually pretty cool because it's usually always curly. <clears throat> She's watching the TV. Our stream's on the TV in front of us here. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Am I over there? Is, you see me over there? Over there? <laughs> Well, Wave to yourself. Say hi. 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 She, she it hasn't gotten to the point where she can see herself yet. I She'll freak see. out when she does, though. I guarantee it. Exactly. John, look at my hair. My hair is a mess. <laughs> Go ahead. You're going to see yourself in a second. Jack, close the door. It'll just take a few seconds. You'll see yourself over there. It actually looks like it's quite a bit behind. I don't understand. Maybe it's just my. No. It, it could just be yours, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Who knows? We're going to go till nine. I got to do some stuff. But yeah, John, you think my hair is messy now? Let me do this. Hold on. I can't see you, Alvin. Hang on. Let me highlight you. <laughs> it's because my hair is too messed up and the camera's like, I'm not showing it. Yeah. <laughs> I like my hair all crazy. <laughs> I'm like a giant bird. There's Grace. <laughs> Gosh, now they're making the dog bark. <laughs> She sees herself. That's hilarious. Let me pull the chat back up here. Take it to the top, Alvin. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Take it to the top. <laughs> you like that, eye Crystal? It's too funny. Yeah. I love making a fool of myself every once in a while, as long as it doesn't involve me hurting myself like my shot myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> exactly. Uh, exactly. I, I did look like Grant Aykroyd when he stuck his finger in the light socket. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you doing that? 
This is not a tattoo. This is fake. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Um, this one's fake as well. <laughs> I got them in a cereal box. It was in a package of Lucky Charms. The look on her face is priceless. She's like, oh my god, he has ruined himself. <laughs> it's f it's not real. It's just, it's just ink in my skin. Okay, let's change the subject. Pink drone? Yeah. Pink drone? Mm -hmm. Down. She calls it her pink drone. Santa Claus drone? You want to see Santa Claus flying around? No! 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 It's not Christmas yet! No! <laughs> I want my pink drone! Oh, she's like, I don't want no red Santa Claus drone. I said pink. Darn it, pink. <laughs> what do you not understand about pink? <laughs> Oh. You're falling off? Sit in the arm of the chair then. There you go. Oh, that's pretty cool, Crystal. Val has a pink drone that she's given away. Yeah, Mo told me about it earlier on uh, at the end of her stream. She said she was going to talk to her. She goes nuts when we fly the drones inside the house. You should see her chase the bee wolf around the house. It's insane. <laughs> Doing laps around the house. And he loves tormenting her with it. Where's the bee wolf? Oh, it's still in the truck. Yeah, I got to FPV that bee wolf too. The camera's like 19 bucks from Bold Clash. <laughs> And it plugs right in. Oh, Crystal, she is uh, so full of energy. Oh. No, who knows? We made the paint. They we both are. We made the paint. You gotta make it all pink. Okay, here. Put you down for a second. You gotta make it pink like the toothbrush I used to clean my RC truck with. It's pink. toothbrush. <laughs> yeah. It's my handy dandy uh, pink toothbrush, and I use it to clean my RC truck. Hang on, let me look and see which video it was. Pull it up on the phone here. I'll know it by the Is comments. That That's how yeah, you can go to. I think it's yeah. I want to say it's flight four, maybe. Hang on. Okay, yeah, it's um it's flight four, Florida vacation flight four, the beach in Gulf of Mexico. That's the one. Hey, Jack. Hey, Jack. MD ninety five TSI is over here trying to talk to you in chat. Come here. He's on his. He got a new phone, so he's like, you know, I, phones all up. All I don't know about that, Bradley. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Jack, what's up, buddy? Hi. That's it. He watches all uh, as many videos as he can with me of you. And that's all he's going to say is hi. Jack, is that it? That's all you're going to say is hi? Come on. Come on. I actually showed my daughter when Chris was flying in and out of the Chevy truck with his drone. I was like, see, this is what it's all about. This is what I want to be able to do one day. This is what it's all about. Yeah. Yeah. So, but anyhow, guys, it's 9 o'clock here, 10 o'clock where everybody else is. Alvin, it's, what, 7 for you? Yes, it is only 7 o'clock here. You suck, dude. It's nice. It's still light out. As you guys can see, there's still light outside. <laughs> yeah. A time zone. 
I love being in this time zone. We're going to wrap it up, though, so I can chill these two out and get ready for bed. And I've got to go take out the garbage and do all the dadly yeah. duties, you know? All the fun well, stuff. Thank you so much for stopping in the stream and showing your support. We appreciate every single one of you guys. And I love making a fool of myself in front of you guys whenever I can. Um, yeah. Next week, I promise we will have a topic. Yeah, we'll definitely try to have a, an actual real topic for next week so we're not just doing open chat. Although open chat, open chat is still really fun to do, but it's nice when you actually have a topic to talk about. Yeah. So we'll uh, uh, visit that and we'll see. Uh, let's see. Tomorrow is uh, Wacky Wednesday with Crystal. Yeah. Yeah, don't forget to check out tomorrow, Wacky Wednesday. And then Thursday is the pre-show show with Cap and Chris, which is at 7 p.m. Eastern time. They, they decided to keep that one at the regular time. But on Friday, they've changed the times up. So on Friday now, it's going to be at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So don't forget to check out them on Thursday and Friday for the pre-show show and for the actual Drone Network show. And uh, don't forget to check out our brothers up north in Canada every Saturday night at the Canadian Drone Network. And uh, MD95TSI, our brother in chat right now, his main show also is on Monday. He does the Drone Talk on Monday nights, which is, I think, every Monday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, like uh, the Friday night show. And then you got Val on Sunday night. Yes. Yes, so of course. Sundays. Yes, we got Val on Sunday and Tuesdays, actually. Uh, Sunday for Sunday Sundays. And then I'm not quite sure what the show name is for Tuesday. I think it's just whatever she names it. But, yeah, she does her basically it's Sunday, sun, Sunday, Sunday on Tuesday as well. And I will actually be on there this coming Sunday, even though I missed this last Sunday. I will be on Val's this coming Sunday, and you guys will definitely see me there this Sunday for sure. And, uh, yeah, you guys all freaking rock, and I cannot wait till next week. I apologize so much for not being able to do the show last Tuesday. It was just all of last week after my aunt's funeral was just a train wreck for me, honestly, with a lot of things. So, um I appreciate you guys sticking through it, and uh, I appreciate you guys very much for coming in the show. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So with that, we're out, guys. You guys enjoy the rest of your evening, and um, I plan to try to do the same. So take care, guys. Yeah. I'll see you guys next Tuesday night. Enjoy the rest of your night, everybody. Ciao.